Hello everyone. Welcome to KPB Coding Hub. In this video, we will discuss about switch case in C language. This switch statement in C language is one of the decision making statement or decision control statement. It is used to choose between multiple alternatives. And the syntax for switch case is here we can take switch within brackets we can take expression choice or condition. So I'm taking here expression followed by case labels. You can take anything case one, case two, case two. Likewise, we can take n number of cases. And here we have to print statements followed by break case space two statements and then break case three statements break likewise we can take n number of cases suppose if these cases are not matched then it is going to enter into default which is nothing but false block and the statements inside this default will be executed so with this i'm going to end this switch block let me explain the syntax first here switch is nothing but a keyword and this expression is going to return some result that result should be either integral constant or character constant followed by case label in each case we can have one statement or n number of statements no problem suppose if the result of this expression matches any of this case labels then the statements followed by that case will be executed and here this break is used to terminate the switch block and the control will automatically transfer into end of the block. Let me explain with a simple example. I'm going to include the header files here. Hash include stdio.h and every program execution starts from main method. I'm going to declare the variable like an reading this variable by using scanf and the format specifier is percentage %d since it is of type integer. So switch. I'm taking value any any variable we can take as I told already it can be expression constant integral constant or character constant. Here I'm going to write the cases. So case one, so printf. In the words, I'm going to print like one and then break. So case two and statements. I'll explain how it is going to work. Case three followed by statement and then break. Here I have taken only three cases. You can take n number of cases, no problem. At last I'm going to take default. Here I'm going to print like invalid input. I'm going to end this main method. Suppose assume 
if my given input is 1 switch off 1 we are going to check this result with the following cases. It is going to check whether the one case is present or not. And here it is going to match the, with this one. And it is going to print the statements which is present in this case one. Like one one it is going to print. Assume if my input is 2, switch off 2. It is going to check this 2 result of this expression with the cases. And here case 2 label is matched and it is going to print like TWO2. Likewise, it is going to execute. Let me run this in online compiler. And here I'm going to give the input like 2. Let me run this code. You can see the output here. It is going to print in words like TWO2. It is matched with this case 2. Assume if my given input is 3. This 3 will be checked with this following cases. And here 3 is present. And it is going to print this statement. Here you can observe the output. It is going to print as 3. And there is another case for this. Assume if there is no break here. This break is used to terminate the switch block. Suppose if I'm not placing break here, then see what will be the output. If my input is 1, it is going to check whether 1 case is present or not. Case label 1 is present or not. Yes, it is present here. And the output which we, which we should get is only 1. But since we are not placing break here, what happens See here? You can observe the output here. It is going to print 1, 2, 3 invalid. Suppose if my input is 2, it is going to check with the case label 2 and the statements following that case will be printed continuously like 2 three invalid input. So if there is no break statement found in the case, then all the cases will be executed, which is present after the matched case. That situation is called as fall through in switch case. And the conclusion for switch case is In switch case, we have only one condition and n number of true blocks and only one false block. You can see here, we have only one condition, n number of true blocks and only one false block, which is nothing but default. So this is about switch case. Thank you, friends.